Hi, I'm Brian with Prater Industries and today we're going to show you how to properly install our rotor for our Mega Mills. Here we have our MM5, which you can see here we have two sets of hammers. You have your outer disc, your middle disc, and your back disc. Now to go over this really quickly, if we did need to change the hammers, we have Allen bolts here that we could simply remove and these are holding in the pins which are inside the spacers and the hammers itself. So once you remove these, you can remove the top piece and that's gonna allow you to slide the pin out to remove your hammers if you did have to do a hammer change, if they did get worn or if they just need to be replaced. Now we're gonna show you how to install it onto the shaft. You always want to make sure that you're using proper lifting techniques. As we get from our bigger size mega mills, we do offer what's called a shaft extension, where it'll simply thread into the shaft of the bearing housing, extend out, and there will be an A-frame holding the end of the shaft. So then that way you can either use a strap with a come along, or if you have a fork truck capabilities to get in, you can lift that rotor up to get it onto the center shaft and then brace it with the A-frame and then if you have to use a couple people to get it slide onto the shaft. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get it set. Now the important factor of our Mega Mill rotors is that when they're balanced and they're built in our, our plant, they're always gonna be stamped with a front or an F. That is very critical in the aspect of installing it because we balance it at our facility. And if you install it the wrong way and go to start it up, it's gonna throw off the vibration. So make sure that you pay attention and find where we stamped it on the center disc and install that with the front facing towards you. So now the easier thing too is to start off with the key not in there. So then that way you're not fighting to get the rotor on with the key. So we're gonna lift it up, get it on there. And if we have to, we can go to the backside and adjust the shaft to line up with the keyway on the rotor itself. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm using proper lifting techniques. Lift it up. Now we're gonna get it kind of in the machine. The easiest way with these lighter ones is you wanna get it up on this back ridge of the bearing housing. Once you get it on the back ridge of the bearing housing, come back here. Lift it, lift it up, and slide it on. Now sometimes it might get caught or jammed, and you might have to kind of give it, wiggle it on. Now we got it fully engaged and we got lucky enough to where our keyway is already lined up. Once we get our keyway lined up, we're going to take our key, put it in there. Next we're going to take our center hub. This is a grade 8 bolt. This is a half 13. This one requires 80 foot pounds of torque to make sure that we're properly locking down this rotor. As each size goes up and the thread size of the bolt gets bigger, it'll give you the recommended uh, torque foot pounds in our manual that you can go through and observe and it'll tell you where to lock it down properly. So we're gonna get it started. Now we're gonna take our torque wrench. Sometimes you're able to get it to where you're not coming in contact with the rotor. You might have to extend it out a little bit. Once you hear the click on your torque wrench, then you know you got it down to the, whatever you set it to as far as what we set it to is 80 foot pounds. Now that we have the, prop, the center hub with, for the rotor properly locked down and secured to the shaft and the bearing housing, and we have our screens installed, now we're ready to go ahead and start the machine up and start the process as far as grinding.